Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to Washington, D.C., to Columbia, Maryland, to Beaufort, South Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, and Cleveland, Ohio, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Um, I'm learning on this journey as well as, as well as providing information to brothers. And I think in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania was the greatest, I learned the greatest lesson of my life about prostate cancer. I was doing a book signing and um, one of the brothers said that he wanted to buy my book and I asked him why and he said that he was 35 years old and he wanted to read my story because my story was the same as his. And I looked at him and said, how could that be? You're only 35. He said, let me tell you, it was three years ago that I went to the doctor just for an examination for something other than prostate cancer. And what he did was accidentally sent my blood work in for a screening for prostate cancer. And it came back with the result of a PSA score of 5.0, which is high, 4.0 is borderline. And he said, this must be a mistake. And after all, I really didn't want to do this examination, but it happened. He said, take this medication and then come back and see me two weeks. Well, he took the medication, he came back in two weeks. And his score was still the same, 5.0. So the doctor said, well, we need to do a biopsy. So he said, okay. So they did a biopsy. So after the biopsy, it showed that he had a Gleason score, which is the rate of growth of the prostate cancer, and the PSA score of 5.0. And he said, you have cancer, and it's on the prostate. And so you have some options. Here's a book, read it, come back, and let's talk about treatment plan. So he decided that his treatment plan would be radical surgery. So he had the surgery. And he told me, he looked me square in the eye and he said, my brother, my brother. He said, I've been cancer free for three solid years now. I'm 35 years old. And I think I'll carry that story on this journey for the rest of my life, no matter where I am, whether it's Los Angeles, California, Seattle, Washington, Houston, Texas, Daytona Beach, Florida, Miami, Florida, or even in New York City, because it will be the same. Because now my message to brothers is that if they tell you that you need to be checked out at 40 for prostate cancer, then I'm telling you by personal experience that I heard from another one of our brothers that he was 32 years old and diagnosed with a 5.0 PSA score. And then I, I tell you brothers that it's just a time for all of us to be more health conscious. It's time for us now to do things proactively and not reactively. All the research that I've ever read indicates that we need, as black men, to start checking our PSA scores, if we have one, at 40. But I'm telling you right now that you need to start at 30. Going to your doctor, making certain that you have all the information you need related to prostate cancer, and have yourself checked. I know it's uncomfortable, and as I go around the country, there are two things that I found out when I talk to brothers about prostate cancer. One, it's a very sensitive subject. And two, a lot of brothers are just not willing to go to the doctor. The other thing that I found out that's interesting, and it's real, even though it's written in theory, and in practice, but if it's hereditary, you really need to start at 29 or 25 beginning to check so you can be proactive and not reactive. And it's
in a situation that could really be life-threatening to you and really take away your time from your family and your responsibilities because you were not proactive instead and now being reactive to a situation.